Natalie aka SM Glam Beauty and welcome to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're not new, then welcome back. Thanks for being here. So for today's video, I'll be trying out some new products that I purchased. They're not necessarily new in the market, they're just new to my collection. And I actually achieved this look right here using some of those products. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I haven't primed, I haven't moisturized, so I'm going to do that with you guys now. For moisturizer and SPF, I'm going to use this Murad Environmental Shield um, Daily Moisturizer. And you always want to put sunscreen on, even if you're not going out. It just helps with um, anti-aging. Okay, and I'm going to do my eyes and my eyebrows first because I am going to play with glitter and I don't want any fallout. For eyebrows, I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild Retractable Eyebrow Pencil. I usually do this to kind of like outline my brows and fill them in a little bit. And then I recently purchased this Glossier Brow Flick and guys... I'm obsessed with it you guys are gonna see how good it is it just makes your eyebrows look a little fluffier which I like I feel like that's like the trend now now I'm gonna use the eyebrow flick and just you know kind of try to make hair like strokes so it looks more natural and I'm definitely going in with a light hand I also bought this Glossier or Glossier um, Boy Brow and it's just a uh, eyebrow gel. So now that that's done, I'm actually going to go in with this um, e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer just to clean up my eyebrows. Now that I finished with my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. I actually picked this up um, when there was a BoxyCharm pop-up. There was a lot of Fenty Beauty items there and this is one of the items that I picked up. I don't really use eyeshadow primer so I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. Um, I think that's enough, right? So now for eyeshadow palette, I'm super excited to try out the Mita Cosmetics Flower Bomb palette. I recently purchased this. I haven't played around with it yet, but guys, I don't know what to do with my eyes yet. So we're just going to make something up. I don't know. So I actually forgot I wanted to use these. These are the line and the fine eye tapes because I want this look to be very like crisp. So wish me luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to grab these. I think these were only $3. I don't know. I ordered them on the e.l.f. website and I love, 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 love using these. Okay guys, just to deepen up my outer corner just slightly, I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Summer in Central Pays uh, palette. And I'm going to take this purple right here and I'm just going to again just lightly place it right in my outer corner. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Mita Cosmetics Cake Liner, the pastel one, and I'm going to use the white, and I'm just going to make, you know, 
some lines these are activated with water um so i have my little bottle of water here and um yeah wish me luck okay so i'm back and i'm done with the little white line um on my crease and guys i am no professional these came out a little thicker than i wanted them to but guys i have shaky hands and they were just getting messed up so this is as good as it's going to get um, all right so for eyeliner i'm gonna use this lily lashes power eyeliner this is a adhesive eyeliner so it's easier to put on your lashes because you know it's a glue slash eyeliner so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my eyes and i'll be right back Okay guys, so I'm done with the eyes, kind of. I just need the lower lash line, but I put some little gems on here. And, you know, I'm loving it already. We're moving on to my base now. I recently purchased this Farsali Skin Tune Blur Perfecting primer serum so i'm gonna use this for primer then i'm gonna go in with the wet n wild photo focus dewy foundation and then i'm gonna go in with the elf uh hydrating concealer and then once i'm done with that i'll be back because i'm gonna try out the glossier or glossier uh cloud paint and i have the shade puff Okay, so for cream, bronzing, and contour, I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Macchiato. Now, I was using it before, and I feel like this color might be a little too light for me right now. Actually, I think it's good. gonna go in with this cloud paint I'm just gonna put like a dab oh I think that's too much but I'm just going to put some on there and apply it with a sponge Okay, so now to set everything in place, I'm going to use this Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter um, setting powder. I definitely look... Let me put one down. Okay, because I don't look that bad. <laughs> That light was making me look washed out. Now that I did my base, I am going to go in with powder blush, powder bronzer, and highlight. But I want to jump in back to my eyes and finish my lower lash line. So let's go ahead and do that. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Morphe bronzer in the shade Originator. I'm 
gonna go in with the lunar beauty moon prism blush in this shade right here which is called pink moon So for highlights, I'm going to go in with this highlighter, which is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighter. And I did repurchase this because this freaking highlighter is bomb.com. Last but not least, lips. Now for lips, I'm going to go in with this Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in the shade Big Proposal and I'm just going to line my lips with this. Now I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Lazy Daisy Liquid Lipstick and you could just leave it as is but you guys know I'm a gloss girl. I'm going to go in with the Kylie Lip Gloss in the shade My Little Aquarius. Woo! So guys, this is the completed look. And honestly, I'm living for it, guys. Once I start playing with makeup, I just... I don't know. I create this beautifulness. And... I'm not a professional, you know, my lines are not straight, they're not even, but nonetheless, it looks good. But um, all the things that I tried, A1, these Mida Cosmetics Kick Liners, I love. This might be my new favorite thing, like I might start experimenting with, you know, crazy eyeliners and stuff like that because, guys... I'm living for this. As for the Mita Cosmetics Flower and Balm Palette, I did not use all the shades, but the ones that I did use were pretty, pretty good. I'm really impressed. Um, I didn't use the glitter formula, but guys, I might just do another um, video using the glitters. I do recommend this palette. They have sales every once in a while, so if you guys are interested in getting either the cake liners or the flower bomb palette, um, just follow them on Instagram and you know they usually post up when they have sales. Also, I have a friend who has a discount code and I'll leave it in the description box so you guys can use her code and get some money off if you guys, you know, are interested. And um, what else did I use that was new? The primer. Oh, guys, it looks like I have no pores. Like, pores who? As for the Glossier um, Cloud Paint Blush, I really do like it. The only thing is that it's a little too light. So whenever I put the um, powder on, it kind of like disappeared just a little bit. But, um, you know, I just went in with powdered uh, blush and it all worked out. I also used this Lily Lashes Power Eyeliner and I like it. The only thing that I have to complain about is the inner corner. Like sometimes it just lifts because I didn't put enough of the eyeliner. But I don't like having a thick, you know, eyeliner in the inner corner. So I just put um, a little bit of lash glue on top of the liner and then, you know, stick and then stuck it in place and that worked out. So yeah, guys, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to enter my giveaway and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. One always comes out better than the other, man. Why? Why? I don't know why. Yeah, let's, let's. So, yeah. Uh, yeah.